Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. Welcome to our September 2022 channel update video. Hey, this is a little bit late. It's a couple days late, but we're here and we're going to update you on what's happening on this channel. September, get ready for it. Uh, hey, why is this update going to be posted probably on the 10th of September instead of on the 1st? Well, I don't know if you've noticed, but we've been cranking out videos. We've been cranking out playthroughs over here on the YouTube channel. Uh, which is exactly what we're going to talk about today. It's also the reason that my free time is real limited. That and also, let's be honest, uh, a mixture of me also like sort of reintroducing hobbies into my life, uh, which has been a lot of fun for me. I'm playing some D&D. I went rock climbing the other day. What, what is this? I haven't done this in like three years. Having hobbies? Crazy. Uh, Hey, welcome. If you don't know what this is, a channel update video is once a month I sit down and I talk about what's going on behind the scenes, what's very honestly on my thoughts. I try and be as honest and as transparent as possible about the playthroughs that we're doing, what's working on YouTube. I also talk about Twitch um, and sort of where my head is at. So, and, and hopefully in less than 15, 20 minutes. This week's is completely unscripted because I haven't even had time to write a script. Uh, so you're gonna get some real transparency. Not that it's not normally transparent. So, uh, what's going on? Well, in the last month, uh, we have been two things have two things have been happening. I would say on a large scale, uh, I've been playing a lot of video games. So, we have two concurrent series that are just YouTube specific. Uh, we've been playing Subnautica Below Zero. We've been playing The Witcher Three for a good long while now. Both of those are coming to an end. So. That's one of the things that's happening is we're coming to the end of two series that are very special to me. Again, Subnautica Below Zero, which we've been playing for 60 episodes at this point, and The Witcher 3, which we've been playing for 139 at this point. Um, because as I film this, I have filmed the conclusion to the, the main game, the base game of, of that game. Uh, I've never really had series end at the same time before. It's always been a perfect overlap of... As one thing is ending, I'm either at the start or the middle of another thing. And I'll tell you what, it's actually been kind of stressful to have both of them end at the same time. I really don't know how close we are to the ending of Below Zero, but they've both felt like that we're in act three for a good long while. So uh, why that's stressful, I didn't, I didn't suspect this, but it's something I've learned this month, uh, in the last month, is as we get to the finish of a game, I really want to do the game justice as much as I possibly can. And I also want to do the people who have been watching the series justice as much as I can. That means very often our, for instance, 30 minute long Subnautica Below Zero videos end up leaking towards 35, 30, uh, sorry, 35, 40, 45. We had an hour long episode the other day. As I like really want to get to the bottom of what's happening and to get to a satisfying conclusion. For me, definitely. Also, for the people who are watching. Um, yeah, it's so, so as that has happened, it's been uh, two series at the same time that are sort of approaching the end. And that's been, a, that's been a lot of like emotional focus for me, attention for me, like I really wanna do right by what's happening. Um, so that has been a lot of my time and energy. Uh, and, and a lot of my mental space, I would say, thinking about those two things. So that's one thing that's happening this month is two series approaching the end. The other thing that's happening this month is we just got playthroughs like crazy. Um, <laughs> normally we put out between one and three or four videos a day uh, on YouTube. We've been putting out basically four a day uh, for a good month now. Um, and here's the crazy part got a lot more in the backlog that are probably going to be coming out soon because there's games or or small segments that we did on twitch that i think make good videos i just haven't had time to make thumbnails or edit the you know edit them uh compile them basically or turn them into playlists on youtube so uh got a lot of games coming out so <laughs> it's been a busy month and that's why i have not filmed this update and i feel bad about that but also sometimes that's how it goes so um I've been very much enjoying this part of the process. Uh, I'm, I'm very much enjoying where we're at right now. Uh, it won't be going on forever. The Witcher, as I said, I just finished the last episode of it. We'll talk more about that in just a second. Um, we'll probably be going more towards three videos a day pretty soon, maybe two. Um, 
but uh, I'm very much enjoying it. Here's the big thing that happened in, this is the September channel update, but it's looking back at August, right? In the last channel update video, here, here's the single biggest event that happened. In the last channel update video, I talked about how we were in early August going to be celebrating three years on Twitch by doing a big stream, attempting to raise $3,000 for charity, maybe streaming for up to 72 hours straight. We did both of those things. We raised $4,500 for an incredible charity called To Write Love in Our Arms. We streamed for 72 hours straight. As part of that enormous stream, uh, we played a lot of games. And so I still have a month later backlogged videos from that stream that are going to start coming out on YouTube here soon. Uh, for instance, uh, I'm, I'm not actually going to list them because I, I, I think that many of them will come out, but I don't know that they will all come out. Um, but that's where we started playing Hollow Knight, which uh, is now coming out on the channel. Uh, we'll talk more about that in a second, too. So that's the big event that happened in August. I've kind of been playing catch up ever since then. I'm still, in fact, playing catch up ever since then. Uh, but holy shit. I don't know that I've ever had more fun than that moment on uh, than, than that specific stream. Um, I'm so happy we did it. I'm so happy we pulled the trigger on a crazy big idea. It has made the last month real busy. Uh, it was three days of me being on camera other than sleeping. And that meant I had to do a whole bunch of YouTube recording ahead of time. That meant I had to do a whole bunch of work afterwards. But I've never had more fun on Twitch than during those three days. So I'm really happy we did it. And we raised a ton of money for a good cause along the way. We made some memories. Um, the Twitch the Twitch recap uh, video, the like best of Twitch moments video that's going to be coming out here in a day or two here on uh, this channel is also late because it also turns out we made a bunch of clips this month because we uh, we streamed for 72 hours straight plus a bunch of other stuff. Um, it's just been a jam-packed month and I have loved every minute of it. It's been a lot of fun. We've also managed, I would say, the workload of it pretty well. Um, as I just mentioned, I have some, you know, hobbies resurfacing in my life for the first time in almost, uh, you know, I've had hobbies in the last three years, but uh, it's been a long time since I've worked to find a good balance of my hobbies and uh, this work that I do here. And that's been a fun challenge too. I'm finding time to do the things that I love and also squeezing this in, which I also love doing. So, uh, yeah. Hey, let's go over item by item the games that are actually happening here on stream uh, on uh, on the channel uh, these days. I need to find the right scene. Um, this is what our YouTube channel looks like today. Oh, there it is. This is what our YouTube channel looks like today, right now, as uh, as I film this video. So uh, we have. A couple series that are ongoing. As I as I'm filming this, the next to last episode of The Witcher 3 just dropped. 138. The 139th and final game of the main series will drop tomorrow. And then we're gonna take a small, small three-week break uh from The Witcher before we come back and knock out the DLCs and have a good time with that. Um, this is a conversation I ended up having with the the people who watch our Witcher 3 videos. I said are the DLCs worth doing? They said resoundingly, yes. And I said, fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna need a little bit of a break before we go into them, but I'm committed to doing them and I'm excited to do it. And that'll start on October 1st. So uh, we're wrapping up The Witcher. What did I think of the finale of it? It was incredible. The final episode of The Witcher and the final like three episodes um, might be my favorite of The Witcher. And the game has been a lot of fun the whole way. So. Uh, that's saying something. The ending and the the way they wrap up a beautifully written and conceived narrative is just, uh, I gushed about it in that final episode. So uh, you'll have to keep an eye out for that. As this airs, we're 59 episodes into Subnautica. I really don't know how close that is. I don't know if we'll be going for 65 or 80, maybe 62. Um, but it feels like we're pretty close to the ending. So I'm not sure. Um... I'm loving that. I'm really enjoying. I'm trying to soak up every single chance that I get when I record Subnautica uh, because I know that very soon we're going to be out of Subnautica games and episodes. This is going to mark the end of a long trajectory of not knowing what I was doing from the original Subnautica to closing out Subnautica Below Zero. Um, 
yeah, and I'm going to be sad to see it go. But it's been uh, such a pleasure to make those videos for the Subnautica community uh, and share it and meet a ton of new people and experience those beautiful games. So. Uh, what else is happening? We're wrapping up, actually, on the topic of wrapping up. This game that just came out three weeks ago called Cult of the Lamb, uh, which was like tailor-made for our Twitch community, uh, which we call a cult. Uh, we are legally speaking, of course, not a cult. We just have lots of strong feelings about each other as a community. Um, there will be 23 episodes of that. So as this is done, we're like basically done. Um, yeah. Uh, Cult of the Lamb was a lot of fun. It was definitely, I, you know, I think the game is uh, has some issues. It has some balancing issues in particular, I would say, that really need to get worked on. But overall, I've loved it. Um, it's been... The video game has been fun. Sharing it with our Twitch community has been a blast. Uh, it's a game where you can make one of your followers, who is based on a Twitch chat member, um, eat a poop sandwich, which I have done and very much enjoyed. Um, that's Cult of the Lamb. If you've never seen it before, uh, think like kind of a colony simulator uh, meets kind of a like dungeon crawler, like a Binding of Isaac kind of thing. Somebody else can talk about that better than me uh all in the world of like a, you know running a cult and uh and sacrificing people and etc <laughs> making a meat poop sandwiches the other big news is that 14 days ago we started releasing uh hollow knight videos here on youtube if you don't know the drill with what's happening there hollow knight is a twitch playthrough so we're gonna play it all on twitch uh however the videos will come out to youtube as soon as i can uh after they have been streamed. So at this point, it's about once a week. Um, we're playing for three or four hours a night, uh, playing Hollow Knight with our Twitch community. That is all thanks to the good people of Twitch who helped me raise $4,500 for charity. Uh, we hit one of our goals, which was to what, to raise that much money. And therefore we got a Hollow Knight playthrough. And oh my God, this game's incredible. I've talked about it a bunch in the videos, so um, you can check those out if you want. But the TLDR on my feelings on Hollow Knight, every detail of this game is just like full of joy and pleasure. And like, it just makes me, it delights me is the only word for it. It delights me. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. I think we're gonna be here for a lot of episodes. Uh, and I don't think they're gonna come out daily unfortunately because we play it about once a week and that seems to be a pretty good fit we might change that to twice a week on twitch i'm not sure um you'll like you can see hollow knight videos for a long time to come if you've never seen hollow knight before and you don't know anything about it one of the most beloved uh games of its type and i'm so happy we're playing it people have been asking me for three years so um that's hollow knight what else is going on uh we've released a couple youtube shorts uh we do we wrap up anything else in the last month trying to think let me scroll down a little bit we wrapped up frostpunk but we've talked about that before um other games that may be appearing here on the channel i played a good portion of outlast 2 i think that may make an appearance here pretty soon uh i've been playing a lot of slime rancher over on stream slime rancher which is a ton of fun uh, there's a couple other that I'm missing for sure. Uh, Meg may be making an appearance with a playthrough of her own. Uh, some episodes here or there. Uh, she's been, pl she played the Sims on stream. So we may turn those into some YouTube videos. Megan and I played seven days to die with Twitch, with Twitch integration. Also as a part of that, um, parody stream, the Twitch integration in seven days to die is incredible. Uh, if you're watching in chat, you can basically try to kill us with zombies. It's so much fun. Or you can try and help us. Anyways, all of that is to say, uh, lots of new videos that will be coming as some of these series end. I would imagine uh, we'll be backfilling those slots with lots of the videos that came from Twitch in the last month. You know, an astute viewer of our YouTube channel will also uh, be sitting there thinking, Ryan, as these series that are made specifically for YouTube come to an end, what can we expect next? I have literally no comment on that. I'm not going to tell you. I have a couple ideas, but I'm not going to say anything. Uh, I would much rather just surprise you and uh, ra th rather than say something and then fail to deliver on it. So uh, 
Yeah, keep an eye on the YouTube channel for that, though, if you would like. All right, uh, let me go back to full screen. What else do we got going on personally? Um, that? <laughs> I mean, I got a, I got a long to-do list of things to do behind the scenes to help with the process of cranking out videos and helping them get seen by as many people as possible and the normal work of like, I love so much getting to sit here playing a game and sharing that experience with people. And then there's a bunch of work that has to happen behind the scenes in order to give me the best chance of doing that to as many people as we can and to hopefully make a little bit of a living from it and make sure that I can do this for a long time. Um, I truly enjoy that work, so that, that doesn't feel like a chore to me, but those items add up. So we've been bringing in some help. Uh, and I would be remiss in this video if I didn't say that we've been bringing in some help. Uh, to help us with this. So you guys have noticed the edited videos in the past, I'm sure. Uh, we've got, you know, an editor who's doing some work for us occasionally. Um, shout out to old Dempsey. This next Twitch recap video, he edited with a hairline fracture in his skull. So shout out to him. Um, let's see. We have the usual mod crew over on Twitch and the original mod crew on YouTube. Some changes there, but we've added people to both. So the comments that uh, try to backseat or that try to take you to a uh, porn site, <laughs> an 18 plus adult porn site, uh, both of those get filtered out thanks to some incredible YouTube mods. Shout out to you guys. Um, and then the Twitch moderation and the Discord moderation team uh, is perfect and awesome and I love them. My wife does a, a whole shit ton of stuff behind the scenes uh, to help as well. Um, and let's see here. Uh, am I forgetting anything? Yeah, that's the main stuff. We also have uh, some other people who do some occasional things for us uh, as well to keep this whole thing running. That is your check-in with Little Indigestion LLC this month. I don't know. This is what I got. This is what happens when I don't have a, uh, a script, but I have noticed that I've talked for 17 minutes, so it's probably time to call it there. Uh, really quickly, before we go on, sorry, I just had to pull it up. I wanted to give a special shout out to some of our oldest Patreon supporters. I'm gonna try and do that in these channel update videos, I think. Uh, two of the oldest Patreon supporters that we have, Mina, uh, I don't think that they're old, but the longest uh, Patreon uh, supporters that we have, Mina and our editor, L Dempsey. Thank you guys for the support on Patreon. Uh, if you guys didn't know, the support on Patreon is a big part of what makes this uh, functioning as a job for me. I have some reliable income every month, thanks to those very generous people. You guys are the people who keep the lights on, and I appreciate you very much. Uh, yeah, if you want to join the Patreon, there is a link down below. Other than that, that's going to do it for uh, September. I'll see you guys in like 20 days to do another channel update uh, because I'm behind on this one. However, I hope that you guys have enjoyed the videos that are coming out this month. Keep an eye peeled for what's next, uh, what games or what, what happenings are next. Until then, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Much love from me to you. Bye-bye.